Today, we have the Comfy Air Fryer Toaster Oven. Comfy reached out to me and asked if I would make a chicken using their oven. And since the product itself seemed awesome, here we are today. This is more than just a toaster oven. It's also a convection oven, an air fryer, rotisserie, and a broiler. Link in the description box and use the promo code on screen for $30 off. It came packaged very nicely. One thing I will mention is off camera, I cleaned it thoroughly using the instructions. Then the instructions said to wipe it out with a wet towel. I turned it on 450 degrees and let it run empty for three cycles of 15 minutes. Just turn the vents on in your house because you will smell the chemical residue burning off the inside. This is typical in all appliances like this, not just this particular brand. Always burn off the inside of your appliances first before cooking unless you want chemicals in your food. It came with accessories like trays and an air fryer basket. This is what I was after since I wanted to use the rotisserie convection setting. They asked that I roast a chicken for you and I have a great version here. First, trust your bird with butcher's twine. I'm gonna speed through this part because believe it or not, I've never trusted a bird before in all my years of cooking and I did a crap job of doing so. Not gonna try to teach something that I'm not familiar with. Horribly trust or not, it will get the job done. Then skewer the bird with the rotisserie attachment, trying your best to keep the bird in the middle of the skewer when tightening the fittings to hold it in place. This is a five and a half pound bird. It's the smallest the store had. And even though the instructions said a four pound max, I have faith that this product will be able to handle a bird of this size. I had set the bird in place and got the machine going, when in a few minutes, realized my horrible trust job will have to be redone. So I just took it out and did an even tighter and even more appalling looking job than the first time, but it will hold now. And yeah, I know you're noticing I didn't season the bird. Don't worry, I got you covered here in a minute. The machine itself is so easy to use. Hit the function button to cycle through the wide variety of cooking functions till I got to the rotisserie. Then hit the temperature button and using the knob, I set it to 315 degrees Fahrenheit. Then hit the time button and set the timer. In this case, I wanted an hour and a half. Follow my instructions for a bird this size. This thing is powerful and you don't want a burnt outside and raw inside. Then press start and you're all set. This thing is really powerful. This is what the bird looked like after 15 minutes. Even though this is a powerful small appliance, it didn't pop any circuits or anything like that that I was concerned about. It's important that appliances are powerful, but don't draw too much power from the wall. Now let's make a fast and extremely delicious cherry bourbon barbecue sauce for the bird. Starting with a bag of frozen cherries that I let thaw already. Frozen is the way to go here because not only are they picked at the peak of ripeness and flash frozen, they also have been pitted already. If you want to mess about with removing pits from cherries, then buy them with the pits in. I do not. Then I added some ketchup to the pot. Yeah, this is a barbecue sauce and I promise all these ingredients will work out amazingly. Then seasoning. No salt. MSG. Yep, trust me on this. Then some plain yellow mustard. I know, bear with me. A couple dashes of wash your sister sauce, a good drizzle of honey, a few big pinches of dark brown sugar, a drizzle of molasses. Don't go too heavy on this or it will ruin everything. Granulated garlic, granulated onion, cumin, ground coriander seed. Mix it a little bit so it doesn't burn. A splash of white vinegar, ancho chili powder, a good pinch of sumac. And yeah, I had all this on hand or I wouldn't buy it all. Leave some things out if you don't have them, but I always have a massive spice cabinet at all times. I'm gonna give that a good mix with my baby wooden spoon before adding a shot or two of bourbon. Careful doing that over a gas stove. And lastly, a dash of cayenne based hot sauce. After that simmered for about 10 minutes, you could toss it in a blender, but I have a stick blender. If you're not used to using one of these, don't do it with boiling hot liquid like this or you will burn yourself, I promise. Tilt the pan to the side so that it doesn't splatter everywhere. And once your sauce is nice and smooth, taste it to see if you need to tweak anything. This needs nothing at all. It's perfect. So the bird has been going for about an hour and 20 minutes at this point, 10 minutes left on the timer, and then we sauce it up. Now this oven is a small appliance and I had initially intended to baste it in the oven, but that was gonna take forever. So I decided on plan B, just take it out and baste it. Oh, and yeah, it came with a tool to remove the rotisserie from the oven. Just paint the bird up. Both sides, please. The tool is good to remove it from the oven, but good luck putting it back in. You just won't be able to get the right angle on it to click it into place, but that's fine. Just use gloves and no worries. Handle the bird though, not the metal piece, please. I had initially set it down to 250, but the glaze started smoking, so I went down to 200. We're not cooking it anymore at this point anyways, just letting the glaze set up. And by set up, of course, we will want to have more than one paint job on it. Paint job number two, I started to get a little wiser and use a full pan that perfectly sets the rotisserie on, but not wise enough since it's a shallow pan and the bottom of the bird touches the pan. Back in for five minutes. Paint job number three, and now we've got it down. A four inch deep half pan works like a charm. Can easily rotate the bird while painting it. Perfect. Back in for the last five minutes or so, and look how gorgeous the color is on that bird. I'll let that sit and rest for about 10 minutes or so. Now it cooked for a long time, but at a low temperature. The whole chicken felt super tender, but I wanted to make sure the breast didn't dry out or I suck. It's perfect, everyone. Extremely juicy and tender. Had to go back for a wing too before setting the table for dinner and devouring the rest of this bird. Thanks so much to Comfy for sending me this product to test out for you all. If you want $30 off on one of these, click the link in the description box and use the promo code on screen. Remember to treat yourself right, cook yourself something good, and I will catch you all on the next video.